Yeah, we're going to do it a little bit differently than we usually do it. Uh, yeah, as in, I'm not usually portrait-wise, and I'm definitely not usually without a video to react to. But, you guys, I got so used to this while I was doing the countdown challenge that I might as well just continue it since I do not have the means to do an actual video reaction. So, let's just do it because I love these boys. Hello, Ultimate Bias Group. Yeah, you should know by now. I'm Young Hase on this, but I'm it's your favorite blue-eyed, green-eyed, black girl, don't know the news me that, aka ENF2. And we are reacting to God 7 Never Ever, which is I come back and like when do they sleep and they need to go sleep. And especially since, you know, Jackson's one of them that definitely doesn't get enough sleep and he's sick. So yes, get well, Jackson. Hashtag get well, Jackson. Uh, but anywho, let's get into the video. Okay, when I first started watching it, first heard it, I was like, okay, card vibes? We're getting card vibes because of the music, which kind of, you, you got that from the trailer as well. But, um, anywho, you know, card as in K-R-D, the new group that just recently came out. I'm not sure if they even officially debuted yet, but they have Oh Na 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 and, um, don't recall, um, as their new songs out for Project Card. Um, but anywho, the sound definitely reminded me a lot of card sound or, you know, a trendy sound. Uh, it's like a reggae tone, hip hop ish mix. But, um, that's kind of what JB, aka Def Soul, aka Def, kind of, that's like his taste right now. So if he had anything to do with this music production of Never Ever, it's kind of him, basically, right now. Okay, um, I wrote my list down because I didn't want to forget anything. Um, Young J, when Young J said it had to be two minutes in, like two ten minutes into the video, he says he's never going to make me cry. Why did I tear up at that time? I think I kind of can figure out why. Because not only was it beautiful that he said he was never going to make me cry, and I teared up. But I started paying attention to the storyline actually at that point, around that point, after Mark was trying to save Jin Young in the car, and um, Young Jay was trying to smash the window, or whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call it the window. The glass, you can say smash the glass, but I'm going to say it's a window. In my mind, I'm, the theories have gotten to me. I'm pretty sure we know the situation. Um, uh, but yeah, at that point, after he's never gonna make you cry, you see, I started paying attention to the storyline. I, I forgot that there was a storyline that's continued. I didn't forget. I just wasn't paying attention to it as I was excited for watching that video. That the storyline from the rest of the Flight Log series, as in Flight Log, Departure, Turbulence, and now we're at Arrival. Of course, there's a storyline that we go through and a theory line that we go through. And at that moment, I realized that, of course, we're saving Jin Young again. We're still trying to save Jin Young. And never going to make me cry. <laughs> also, along the lines of that timing, at that point, they were saying that I'm theirs. <sighs> they are mine. Sign something. I was like, where's the pin? Where's the pin? Let's sign it. Even though, technically, I've already been theirs. I have been God Seven's from my day one not necessarily they, their day one because I didn't know them then I, I wasn't even into K-pop but when I discovered K-pop and then I discovered them I was there so I was already here ultimate bias group you guys ultimate bias group um what else did I say uh so I paying attention to the storyline okay I have like the thing that says Young J how what, like what the freak happened okay my boys are growing up. I've said this in the many, many of uh, reflective comeback questions that were in the challenge that I have, you know, have, uh, you know, look at it. Look at my channel. You see that I recently did a God 7 comeback challenge where, you know, a lot of questions and I answer them and be very reflective on my journey with God 7. And they have grown up. My babies have definitely grown up. And along with growing up, I'm noticing more and more young Jay. Like, he has like this flipping switch 
where he could turn it off, turn it off, turn it off, turn it on. Like his stage presence, he could st- he turn it off and turn it back on. Like I know him as a fluff ball when we're like watching him on reality stuff when it's just you know them being themselves where there's no real stage in fact I don't even remember him on dream night why don't I remember him on dream night oh wow that's kind of sad anywho but now he's grown up he's matured and he's still a fluff ball he's still a little sunshine he's still got seven sunshine of the he's a god sunshine of the group that is for sure but in this video in this music video he was serious i saw it and if you do i'm not not blind to that he's growing up and he can just you know phase back out get back into serious mode and focus and you know like uh empathize the character that he's supposed to be or like the lyrics that he's supposed to be portraying and i'm just like you're my new favorite you're not my bias, but you're my new favorite. I don't know how that works. Can you have a favorite and a bias? Jin Young's gonna be for like my ever my bias. Uh, Young Jae, thank you for like pointing your stuff. You were pointed out like incredibly at in this video. Like you look good, boy. And um. Yeah, I'm gonna, he's gonna be my favorite. <laughs> I'm gonna have a favorite, a bias, a bias wrecker. Like, stay, like, he's growing up and everyone should see it and appreciate it. But he has an off on switch for stage young Jay and regular young Jay. I'm just so proud of my boys. Like, oh, um, and they all look good in that freaking white background, that white room. They look so good in it. In fact, I think they should do white rooms a lot more. I know they did it in <sighs> Hard Carry. They did it in Hard Carry. I was like, what's the name of that? What's the name of the song? Hard Carry, but it was mostly with the trees and stuff like that in the background. But it was still white white room and it was gorgeous. That lighting, it looks good on them. Seeing them do the dance moves and that lighting, it's really amazing. I know that technically there's a storyline that goes with that lighting that room like there's theories and everything but uh i still like it so if they can bring it up in like their next series or if they can just you know use the white room a lot more i uh, i'm not saying that the theories and the storylines should repeat or go back to that but they look good for interruption i'm kind of technically out like we only got alone um so yeah Along with, you know, White Room Amazingness, God7 definitely has me. Um, like, I've been there from day one. Uh, we're going to go back to the video. Not just the music, but the video. Not just Young Jay, but the video. And towards the end, Bam Bam's mask thing, that was, like, the, my focal point. I was just staring at it. I, start, I stared at it in the teaser pictures and the teaser trailers. It's something I just, you know, I really kind of wanted. That mask was kind of pretty much legit. I loved all the boys with the blonde hair, so it was what, Young Jay and Bam Bam. I like I liked that color and style on them. That way, for, I, I liked it for this um, comeback. Not necessarily saying that they need to keep blonding their hair. Bam Bam's going to lose all his hair one day. I also liked his eyes. The eyes definitely went with the hair. In fact, I like everything, you know, everyone's, you know, style for this comeback, except for Jackson's. I didn't really care for his hair. I'm going to put that out there. No one cares about my opinion, though. So they'd be like, oh, Jackson looks amazing. What are you talking about? I'm like, okay. But anywho, um, like I said, everyone looks pretty, pretty darn, pretty darn good. Excuse the language. Pretty darn good for the comeback. I'm so proud of them. Um, and of course... Aside from my focal point being on Bam Bam in the mask, which I kind of want right now. Um, Jin Young, of course, being the end of it, <sighs> makes me curious about what's going to happen next. And, of course, my heart always goes longingly for my bias when he's put in the position that he's in at the end of that video. If you want to know what I'm talking about, please go watch the video. Link will be in the description box below. This is your favorite K-pop, K-pop fandom trainee. Just a trainee. Today is another day to do better. I'll do better. You do better. 
Hopefully one day I'll be God7's favorite Nuna. <sighs> but okay.